I've wanted to do this video for a long time because I think it's such a great shame that people come to Copenhagen and it seems like all tourists have got this thing on their bucket list. It's something that us Danes consider a bit of a tourist trap and uh, we would never really go out there and spend time there. So let's explore it and uh, then I'll show you what you should do instead. I've been wanting to make this video for a few days now and uh, this morning I actually read a comment by a traveler in there's this group uh, about Copenhagen that helps travelers and she, she, she was like oh I had a great time in Copenhagen but there was one thing that I regretted doing and that's this thing so uh, yeah it's not just me it's not just me uh, it's not a good thing to do but we're going out there now so as I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of a traveler and get the full touristy experience, I'm starting this video off here in Nyhavn. And from Nyhavn, there's about 30 minutes walk out to our destination. Now, I love Copenhagen Harbour and I spent quite a lot of time, in, especially in the summer months, running and walking in the harbour area. But not on this side of Nyhavn. This side of Nyhavn is pretty dead and boring if you ask me. So I cheated a bit and I went on my bike and I was freezing because it's almost November and it's so chilly here in town. I have to be fair in this video so let's talk a bit about the things that you will see on this walk. Up on our right hand side here you can see the pavilions that are being used by the royal family and the queen whenever she goes on her I think yearly trip around Denmark. But more on the royal family later in this video. You will also see the Gavion Fountain and the English Church or the St. Albans Church. And I'm really not hating on these uh, attractions and I'm not hating on the Citadel which is one of the best uh, preserved fortresses in all of Europe actually. But I don't like that little statue that you will come to over there. Yeah, look at it. You can't even see it. Oh, there she is. Oh, is she there? The Little Mermaid. I mean, look at her. She's tiny and there's absolutely nothing going on out here. And I'm not hating on Hans Christian Andersen or his Little Mermaid fairy tale, but it's not like he made the statue. Instead, the statue has actually been copyright protected by the family of the dude who made it. So if you look it up on Wikipedia, then you can't even see a photo of the statue. And the family actually sued one of the largest Danish newspapers a couple of years ago just for printing a drawing of the statue. So yeah, this is in my opinion the biggest tourist trap or scam in Copenhagen. And of course it doesn't cost any money but it costs you your valuable holiday time here in Copenhagen. So the walk out here took around 30 minutes and I wanted to see what can you do in those 30 minutes if you take another route. So we got that boring thing out of the way and now we are about to explore some of the best things to do here in the city center of Copenhagen. It was actually so cold that I had to go home and uh, pick up my winter jacket because yeah, it's freezing now, it's almost November in Copenhagen. But on the way here I met uh, some of my friends and I asked them because I said I'm doing this video today uh, about the biggest scam in Copenhagen and they were like that's the little mermaid isn't it? So it's not just me, now it's three, three random dudes in Copenhagen and one lady on the internet. So from Amalien Borg we're gonna head over to this church which I think is the most beautiful church in all of Copenhagen. Its official name is Frederick's Church but everybody here just calls it the Marble Church and that's also what the metro stop is called actually. So thumbs up for this church and thumbs up for being in the city center where you can actually get some really nice food instead of just a hot dog and a stupidly overpriced ice cream out by the Little Mermaid. And if you want to try one of the best burgers in Copenhagen then head over to Gasoline Grill which is on the route here. It's been called one of the best burgers in the world so even though you're sitting outside it's a pretty good place to stop. Now we're heading over to the King's Garden and here you'll find Rosenborg Palace where the crown jewels of Denmark are stored. But they are also very tiny so we're not gonna bother going in there today. So we need to leave the park and head over to that round tower you can see in the distance there. And this is just called the round tower and in my opinion it's one of the most iconic landmarks and things to do and see in Copenhagen. So let's head up there. The price is 40 kroner which is the equivalent of a cup of coffee. Yeah I'm sorry guys we are an expensive country. If you bought the Copenhagen card then uh, the round tower is included. 
And just a disclaimer here, because we are an honest travel channel, uh, if you've got a bit of claustrophobia, then this may not be for you, because the last set of stairs up the tower are quite narrow. But the price for climbing the stairs is that you've got a gorgeous view of the Copenhagen skyline from the city center. And for just 40 kroner, I think that that is really good value for money. Now, I'm interested to hear what do you think? Is the Little Mermaid the biggest scam in Copenhagen? Do we have an even bigger scam? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much.